Hello everyone, this is Anushka Jain, CA and ACCM. In today's video, I am discussing FM pre-December 2024 mock exam questions. Currently, I am discussing question number 33, which is a section C question and talks about factoring arrangement. It's a very important topic. Make sure you watch the video till the end to learn about it and be able to solve this question from the mock exam. This question carries eight marks. Let's see. This scenario relates to three requirements, embarking on a journey to refine its working capital management and increase dividend payouts. Luminix Corp's finance manager is actively seeking strategies for improvement. Luminix Corp generates annual revenue from credit signals amounting to $36 million. Despite requiring all credit customers to settle invoices within 30 days, customers often take longer. Roughly 0.5% of credit sales result in irrecoverable debts. That means bad debts that remain outstanding and unrecovered. Trade receivers currently stand at $5 million and Luminix Corps incurs a short-term finance cost of 8% per year. So that is the interest on overdraft is 8%. Considering a proposal from a factoring company, Brightpath, offered to manage its sales ledger on a with recourse basis. What does with recourse basis mean? That in case of a bad debt, the factoring company will go back to the original company to get the money. So the factoring company does not bear the risk of bad debts. Brightpath aims to leverage its expertise to reduce average trade receivable days to 20 days while cutting irrecoverable debts by 80% and lower administration costs by $120,000 annually. As part of the factoring agreement, the Brightpath would advance Luminix Corp 70% of the invoice value at an interest rate of 9% per year. Brightpath would levy an annual fees of 1.25% of credit sales. Assume that there are 360 days in each year. If nothing is mentioned, always assume days in a year to be 365. Okay. So let's move to its solution now. So credit sales revenue is 36 million, okay? Current trade receivables is $5 million. So what is the current receivable period? Current receivable period is 5 million by 36 million into 360, right? So that is 50 days. Or although the credit period offered to the customers is 30 days. Customers are taking on an average 50 days to settle their invoices. Now, revised trade receivables would be what it was given, that the receivable period would be reduced to 20 days. Okay. So, 20 will be the proposed receivable period or the revised receivable period. So, revised trade receivables would be 36 million into 20 by 360. That is 20 million. Sorry, 2 million. So reduction in trade receivables is $3 million. Now current bad debts is 0.5%. And it was given in the question that irrecoverable debts or bad debts will be cut by 80%. So the revised bad debts would be what? 20% of the current bad debts. That is 1,80,000 into 0.2. That is $36,000 of revised bad debts would be there. Interest on overdraft charged by the factor and interest on overdraft is 8% and 9% respectively. This data was given in the question. So current interest cost is what you're paying to the bank on overdraft. And that is $5 million into 8%. Now the revised interest cost would be what? So on the amount which is advanced by the factor, you are going to be paying 9% interest. The revised receivables will be what? 20 lakhs into 70% into 9%. Okay. So on the factoring advance, this much interest will be charged by the factor. And on the balance, you are going to pay interest on overdraft to the bank. That is 30%. So 20 lakhs into 30% into 8%. 
that is the interest on overdraft so the total interest which will be charged is 174000 and factoring fees was given as 1.25% so assessment of factoring arrangement. The so savings are what administration costs of one lakh twenty thousand dollars will be saved annually. Bad debts, what will be the saving? One lakh eighty thousand minus thirty six thousand. That is the bad debts which are going to be saved. Then interest costs. Earlier you were paying four lakhs of interest. Now you're going to be paying one lakh seventy four. So what is the savings in interest cost? Two lakh twenty six thousand. And factoring fees will be revenue, that is 36 million into 1.25%, that is 4,50,000. So we see that the total savings are of 4,90,000 and factoring fees is 4,50,000. So the net benefit of the factoring arrangement is of $40,000. Okay, so will you go for the factoring arrangement? Absolutely, yes, because there are savings if we do that. Okay, so that's the solution to this question. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sure it will really help you to understand the concept. If you have any doubts, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. All the best for your exams.